Okay. Well, this is something very, very different to what I'm used to, Terry. Yeah. I've not been for quite a long time in a, an airy shelter. And uh, I have to say, this is quite uh, impressive, oh, really? impressive already. Yeah, Would this date uh, World War II? Yeah, or World War II, it's not in for World War II. And as I can see, it was uh, dug out in this soft, chalky limestone. And uh, as you can imagine, the, the southeast of Britain was the front line of defense from uh, the Germans in World War II, so they dug out a lot of tunnels along the southeast uh, coast to defend from a possible German attack, which thank God never happened. Thanks to the Allies, was it? I mean, a lot of people have a go at Churchill, but did he, didn't he actually get the Allies to Hell Britain for the oh, course. He did well also. So he did well, Churchill, I think. If he stopped an invasion and got allies, it's yes. never a bad thing. What have we got here? That's already caught my interest. Big motor. Is this a ventilation fans, I would imagine? Is this a ventilation system very clearly? Yeah. In the old motor for it. Yeah. Because down these tunnels, without ventilation it would have been Asphyxiating, I can imagine the amount of people. Where's the people living in this tunnel? That's the other thing. I don't know. It's what I know about. It's just sort of deep shelter and deep shelter is so they, they would have uh, seek refuge here. Yeah, because heavy, heavy there was there were several uh, actual attacks on London, was yeah. there? During the World War Two, I don't know how many, but I know the Germans dropped bombs in London. So I imagine with that during that time they would have had a lot of people sheltering yeah. here and there. So also mainly, mainly a dressing station as well, so any injured soldiers have been brought down and... Yeah. Are we going to see some of the uh, hospital areas here? We'll see a little bit round the corner, so... So where the actual wounded, where wounded soldiers that were tended mm. uh, for, for the injuries, that's going to be quite interesting to see. But already it's... Uh, spectacular, I would say. And it keeps going. Oh yes, it goes through here. We've got like uh, the remains of some of the light. Are these kind of light covers? Yes. Sort of, they were placed on the side and protecting sort of yeah. some of the lighting way. system. They would have had electric Lighting system, I imagine, out here. Well, they would have been when they done the channel tunnel. It was used as firefighting training area. So, so this was used as firefighting training area, these yeah. tunnels? Yes. That's why you got the newer lighting down there. Wow. Wow, cool. That's crazy. Main bit there, what should be another entrance line. Wow, so does that go as well? Yeah. This would be another entrance around here, and then the main bit would have gone. So this, there would have been another original entrance here. Uh, and as you can see, obviously, because we are below ground, we had to enter via an incline. This goes up there to a blocked entrance to the surface. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. You can see, I've seen those in uh, some of the area shelters mm. visit in the north yes. east area. I think there's a quite a later period, yes, well, the later stuff. period of the area shelter. Might be wrong, but some sort of a light cover. Or, yeah. Hmm. And uh, we were talking about the amount of churd you can see here in this limestone. Big nodules of churds everywhere. Uh, I don't know what geological period uh, the cliffs here where the limestone was, but I can imagine it would have been uh, just a few million years old rather than the 300 million years old uh, limestone that you get in the Peak District. Wow. <laughs> Your light uh, puts mine to shame. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that on video. <laughs> Wow, look at this. 
I think we'll take pictures on the way out. Yeah, we can do that, yeah. Kind of makes sense, does it? Yeah. Nice uh, to wander here in the cooler air than surface because it's quite a hot day. Yeah. And we were getting quite a bit of a sweat just uh, <laughs> walking to the entrance here. wheelbarrow there and the previous dirty explorers mm. I never understand that if you right. if you made the effort to come down here why can't you take your shit with you I mean come on even smoking down here I don't get it oh. Anyway, do you say this was used for a training ground for the firefighters yes. uh, to to help them basically train for rescuing any casualties yep. during the building of the Trans channel tunnel in the 90s? Yes. So obviously they would have uh, met quite a the sort of similar mm -hmm. environment yeah. environment that they would have met when they were building the channel tunnel, which is you know cold and <laughs> rusty and. Yes. You know, and the rest. <laughs> right. It's interesting how some of these spaces get mm. uh, reutilized in a yep. kind of a useful way. I can imagine there was maybe toilets and here. I would, I would imagine here. This kind of uh, you know partitions mm. here. If this was a toilet, it would have been quite a narrow space to have a dump, but <laughs> needs most. Yep. So here we come to uh, part of the equipment the firefighters left uh, when they were doing the training in the 90s. Fire extinguisher. You might even have a date somewhere, but uh, I mean, it, it probably looks older than what it is because of the high humidity here. Everything gets really rusty, does it? But they would have had. Uh, Fire, fire tackling drills down here and training. One of the original sort of bags, tackle bags or whatever. Wow, interesting. Oh, we come to an end here. Oh, here's the nozzle. Yeah. <laughs> this would have been a CO2 uh, extinguisher. So, yeah. I think so, yeah, they're the ones that give a lot of... Uh... Oh no, we don't come to an end. No. It's got a little bit of the old lining left here. It goes, it goes around, keeps going. And here, obviously, I imagine this, this was a ventilation air duct. And uh, it wouldn't make sense down, wouldn't make sense to it down here. All this white chalk everywhere. Wow, let's keep going. Yes, yeah, you pointed out, uh, Carrie, this uh, this would have been lined with kind of a fell material. So uh, when they build the area shelter, they wouldn't have actually seen the corrugated tin. They would have seen this felt material that was lining. It was properly insulating a lot of the heat, was it? was probably heat insulating material as well. It's very interesting. Ah. Yeah. I'm quite intrigued. It keeps going. Oh yeah, it's more Oh, what have we got here? A bit of a... You have a working pit. I suppose it's a drainage, wouldn't it? To what? I suppose it's a drainage, wouldn't it? All the water would have congregated. Oh, the drainage. A bit of a drainage pit, there. probably, yeah. It wouldn't make sense. The all electric uh, boxes and. Not the, they're not called switches, they're called. Um, what are they called? Breakers? Yeah, electric breakers. 
Lighting main. God, it's proper rusty, this. Hmm. So, was this uh, the access tunnel, basically, for anyone that was injured? Yeah, any wounded soldiers. Any wounded soldiers. So, you have the steps. As we can see on the left-hand side, I'm going to get a bit closer if you keep lighting it up. So we can see the, the steps on one side and the smooth surface for for stretchers really. Was it? Is that was, yes, was that the idea? Hmm. Really cool. And it keeps going over this way. <coughs> so right here goes to to a blind. And again with uh, with some ventilation air pipe here and remains of the you know firefighters extinguishers that they use here for training go drill holes there and they don't <clears throat> yeah and yes uh, judging by the size a lot of this was done hammer and chisel well not all of it obviously you can see like the proper size drill holes there about an inch and a half across probably the size of just a bit bigger than my thumb actually but you also have the chisel marks here hmm. the end of this Yeah, there's quite a bit more yeah. of this felt left. Obviously, this would have been covering everywhere just uh, to give rid of insulation to the place. Insulation from humidity and from, mm. from cold, you know, to keep the place warm. Hmm. A bit of a switch box. So that's it for this one and we're going to go on to the next one so stay tuned